Hello everyone and welcome to Flute of the Loop. My name is Leanna and today we're looking at a very special and very old flute. This is a flute from 1897, which as of today makes this flute 125 years old. It was made by Rudolf Hart in London, and as you can see, it is made out of wood. But what makes this flute truly special is not who made it, but who owned it. This flute was possibly the first flute of uh, one Mr. Vern Q. Powell. Uh, and we know this partially because if you look at the um, case, there is an engraving on the case which has the name Flutist Vern Q. Powell engraved across the top, um, as well as the words uh, F.T. Scott K.S. and Sterling, as in Sterling Silver. But enough about Vern Q. Powell and his name. Let's talk about this flute. So this beautiful old flute is still the bone system. So the key fingering is something that I'm actually used to, used to and something that I can actually play. However, it does have this lovely little crutch on the end. And if you haven't played with a flute with a crutch before, what it does is it sits right in this little section of your hand, which makes it a little bit more stable um, if you are not used to resting it on this part of your hand. So for some flutists, this might actually be a more comfortable way of holding the flute, but we kind of got rid of crutches for um, the standard flute, although you can still find them on things like the bass flute. So the crutch goes in the hand and then the rest of it goes as usual. This flute has a fair number of cracks. There are at least two cracks in the head joint, one of which has been filled, and there might be one on the foot joint, as well as some leaky keys here and there. This flute is very, very old, so I'm gonna do my best to play it and see what it sounds like, but just keep in mind that this flute is kind of past its heyday at this point, being 125 years old. So the sound might be a little bit different on different notes. So let's see what we can get. So right there in the middle, we have a really lovely tone um, in the mid-range, but the lower I get, the fuzzier it gets, and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get much further lower than G. Yeah, it tried its best, but I think it's done there. So we're gonna try to go upwards and see what happens. Okay, so the higher we get, we actually get quite lovely tone. Anytime the right hand keys are in play, we start to get more fuzz in the sound, but the clarity really blossoms when we're playing notes that only involve the left hand. Um, I really like the sound of this flute. There might be an argument in there for why you might want a wooden flute over a metal one, because there's something really special about the tone quality of this instrument try to play an excerpt <laughs> but frankly you heard what happened with those notes and I'm not sure that we're gonna make it all the way through this excerpt but it wouldn't be a flute of the loop video without us trying to play Carmen by Bizet so let's see if this flute can do it
so it was a little bit of a struggle, especially on any of the notes where the right hand was active. But I think there's some really, really lovely sounds in there. So this flute definitely holds up despite the amount of time that it's been. It's an excellent flute. And I imagine when it was first made that it was probably quite inspiring to a young Vern Powell. This flute is so, so special. It's really a one of a kind piece of history, a piece of art. Um, a person who might want this would be somebody who wants to own a piece of history, who maybe has a unique fascination with the history of flutes and flute makers. But this is probably not your flute if you are just trying to find your next flute to work with because frankly it's quite old and it needs a lot of work to get into like a standard playing condition so really we're looking for collectors here and less of people who want to make this their next personal or professional instrument but i should also mention that this flute does have an engraving on the flute that is still visible it is a little bit difficult to read at this point, but if you look really carefully, it does say Rudel Cart and Co, 23 Berner Street, Oxford Street, London, 2858, which means that the serial number of this flute is 2858. Um, if you are super big into flute history, I highly suggest taking a look at this flute. It is currently being sold by Flute Works Seattle, and it is currently being sold as is. So if you do decide that you want to overhaul it and try to make it playable, that's going to be another step in the process. But frankly, there's a lot of sound that can still be made with this flute. We just found out exactly what that does. So it's not completely impossible to just leave it as it currently is. It's a really beautiful flute, it's a very unique flute, and it is a true piece of history. So if you're interested in checking out this flute, you are in luck. There's going to be an article released by the Flutist Quarterly written by Eric at Fluteworks about this flute and the history of this flute. So you can learn all about that in that article. I highly suggest checking it out. And that's everything for me. Thank you to Fluteworks for sponsoring this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.